This is Mel Allen with the highlights of the 15th annual All-Star Game. Here's the National League heavy artillery, Johnny Mize, Walker Cooper, Ralph Kiner, and Stan Musial. The American League Cannoneers, Ted Williams, Joe DiMaggio, George Kell, and Lou Boudreau. Ford Frick, National League President. And Bert Schotten, who piloted the pennant-winning Brooklyn Club last season. Commissioner A.B. Chandler on the left, shaking hands with yours truly. The rival pilots, Leo DeRocher and Bucky Harris, wish each other luck before the game gets underway. Coaches Eddie Dyer and Chuck Dressen discuss the ground rules with the umpires. And then the American League team takes the field wearing their home uniforms. Richie Ashburn of the Phillies leads off for the Nationals. Starting pitcher for the Americans is Walter Masterson. Ashburn, the only rookie to be chosen for this game, opens up with an infield bounder that he beats out for a base hit. Next man up is Red Shane Deans. With the Cardinals' second sacker at bat, the speedy Ashburn attempts to steal second. There he goes. He slides and he's safe. And now Red Shane Deans drives the grounder to McQuinn, who makes an unassisted put out at first base. Ashburn advances to third on the play. Stan Musial of the Cardinals at bat. In comes the pitch. Stan swings. It's a long drive deep into right center field. Going, going. It is gone. Up in there for a home run. Ashburn comes home ahead of Mutual. And the National League is off to a 2 to nothing lead as Mutual crosses home plate. Big John Mize of the Giants is the next batter. Masterson comes in with his pitch. Mize swings and lines it out over second in the center for a base hit. Next comes Eno Slaughter, Cardinal right fielder. And Masterson cuts loose with a wild pitch, and Mize goes down to second base. One out, Mize on second. Here's the delivery. Wide for ball four, and Slaughter walks. Andy Pafko of the Cubs up at bat now. In comes the pitch. Andy swings, hits the ball to Kelton, who steps on third to force Mize, but Pafko beats the throw to first. Two out, two on. Walker Cooper comes up. The giant catcher awaiting the delivery. Here it is. He swings as a ground ball to Kelton, who rifles it over to Gordon at second, forcing Pafko for the third out. And the Nationals take the field. In the bottom of the second inning, Hoo Devers of the Detroit Tigers comes to bat. Ralph Brank of the Dodgers now pitching for the Nationals. Here it is. It's swung on by Evers. It's a line drive going deep out in the left field, and it's up in there for a home run into the left field bleachers. This is only the second time in All-Star game history that a batter has homered on his first trip to the plate in his first All-Star game. Max West of the Nationals did it in 1940, but Hoot is the first American leaguer ever to accomplish this feat. And so at the end of the second inning, the score, Nationals two, Americans one. In the top of the third inning, Stan Musial comes to bat again. Musial's bat cracks off in his fists, but the drive goes sizzling in the center, giving Stan two for two. And by the way, does anybody want a slightly used bat? Now Myers drives one to Gordon at second, who flips over to Budrow. Lou fumbles, but recovers in time to force out Mutual. In the bottom of the third, Mickey Vernon bats for Masterson, and he gets a ball outside for ball four. Next hitter is Pat Mullen, Tiger right fielder, and Pat draws another base on balls. As Henrik is set down on a third call strike, Vernon and Mullen execute a neat double steal. Runners on second and third, one out, Lou Budrow up. Here's the pitch. Lou swings, it's a fly ball going out into right field to Eno Slaughter. Mickey Vernon tags up at third and then scampers on in with a tying run of the ball game, 2-2. The Nationals' board of strategy looks worried. In the top of the fourth, Gustine comes up to hit for Branca. Vic Rashi of the Yankees on the mound now for the Americans. Here's the pitch, Gustine swings and misses, strike three, and the score still stands tied up at 2-all. Johnny Schmitz, Cub left-hander, takes the mound for the Nationals in the last half of the fourth. With one away, pitching to Kenny Keltner. Ken slams a hard grounder past third on out of the left field to Mutual. Stan scoops it up, throws to second, holding Keltner to a single. And now the veteran Yankee first baseman George Quinn is up at the plate. Here's the pitch. McQuinn swings and lines it out in the center for a base hit. But Ashburn's peg holds Keltner on second. And now catcher Bertie Tebbets comes to the plate with runners on first and second. Schmidt's ready. Here's the pitch. It's ball four, and they're loaded up. Tebbets gets a base on balls. Keltner's over on third, McQuinn on second, Tebbets on first. They take their respective leads as the left-handers into the windup, pitching to pitcher Vic Brashy, who swings and lines one over Pafko's head in the left field for the base hit. Keltner scores. McQuinn digs for the plate. He comes in to score, and Rashi pulls up at first with a two-run single to the left, sending Tebbets to third. And now the Americans lead by a score of four to two, and the Nationals go into a huddle. A little conference around the mound, and that's going to be all for Johnny Schmitz. 
Coming in to pitch for the Nationals now is Johnny Sane. Joe DiMaggio now batting for Mullen. One out, two men on. Here's the pitch. DiMaggio swings it to line drive to left field, but right to Stan Musial. But after the catch, Bertie Tebbets comes on in to score the Americans' fifth run of the ball game. And now Rashi works carefully to protect his lead. But Richie Ashburn singles in the fifth inning for his second hit. Red Shane Deans coming to bat, lifts a high fly, which is taken by Al Zarella out in short right center. Stan Musial is coming up now. Swings and misses, strike three. With Stevens leading off in the bottom of the fifth inning, Johnny Sane thrills the crowd as Junior swings and misses for the third strike. Bobby Doerr goes down swinging, and Hoot Evers goes out on a third called strike. In the top of the sixth, Boston's Bob Elliott up. He lashes out and singles to left field. Bill Macy of Boston now catching in place of Cooper comes to bat. The stretch checking the runner. Here it is. It's swung on. There's another line drive out in the left field and it's in there for a base hit and their runners on first and second for the Nationals. That brings to bat Buddy Kerr of the New York Giants who's in it short for Reese. Buddy dribbles a roller down toward Keltner. Ken picks the ball up throws Buddy out at first but Elliott and Macy advance a base each. Waitkus of the Cubs comes to bat for Sane as rain threatens. Rashi walks Waitkus to load the bases. Now it's Waitkus on first, Macy on second, and Elliott on third. The score five to two in favor of the Americans. And the next batter is Richie Ashman, who already has two hits. Vic Rashi getting ready to work. In comes the pitch. And it's in there for a strike. Rashi comes in with the next one. Very wide for ball one. And Bob Elliott takes a lead off third base. Again a fast one past Ashman for strike two. Rashi throws and it's in there for call strike three. Ewell Blackwell the Cincinnati sidearm specialist now pitching for the Nationals throwing to George McQuinn who slaps a blooper in the short left for a single. Bertie Tebbets up there down to second goes McQuinn and he's in there safely with a stolen base. Umpire Bill Stewart calls him out then safe and Kerr gives Stewart an argument but he says out. Bill says safe. Again, Buddy says out. Again, Bill says safe. Buddy insists out. Umpire Bill repeats safe. So, he's safe. At the plate, Bertie Tebbets is out on a third call strike. He questions umpire Beans Reardon's decision, but Beans won't have any part of it. And Bertie just gets nowhere. Don't these umpires ever lose? With two out, Boston's Ted Williams bats for Rashi. Ted fouls one off for strike one. Blackwell works very cautiously. And Williams draws a base on balls. Al Zarilla of the St. Louis Browns now batting. Here's the pitch. Zarilla pokes out a bounder to Shane Deans who flips it to Kerr, forcing pinch runner Newhouser and retiring the side. Rain drizzles down on the scoreless seventh and eighth innings. And finally, top of the ninth with two outs, Dan Mutual up at the plate. Here's the pitch. He swings. It's a ground ball hit down toward Bobby Doerr. Doerr upward it over to McQuinn, and that's the ball game. Final score, American Nationals 2.